Do you know how much hair a man has, Jennifer? Now you can feel his feet. And you, Rolf, uh, that is the pajamas. Gee, I didn't think a girl's sex organs were that small. I thought they were the same size as a man. Well, if you'll just feel inside here, you'll get an idea of what it's really like. You'll find two sets of lips, the outer and the inner lips. And up at the top, you'll find a little organ called a clitoris. That's the one. You feel it? Mm -hmm. Now, you, Jennifer, I feel that the penis has some skin around it. It's called the foreskin. And when you move it back, you can feel the head. Behind the penis, there's a sort of sack, the scrotum, inside which are the testicles. Now, touch one of them. Hey, you feel it? Yes. Now move your hand further down towards the leg. You'll see a very marked difference in the structure of the thighs in a man and in a woman. I wondered about this. Since you work in a home for disabled people, Helen, has anybody made an effort to help the young people now? All the rooms for girls and boys separate. They're living apart. The apartments are in different rooms. Girls and boys, even those who are engaged, are in separate rooms, the bachelor type of room. But I think this is very bad. Don't you agree, Vicky? Absolutely. It'd be better if boys and girls were together. I think it'd make it far more family-like. Like being at home. What do they say among the handicapped about this? Nay, Britt, you speak to people in the same age group. What do they say? It's quite encouraging to see just how much, how much trust they have placed in their future, particularly their sex lives. They feel that their future sex lives will be good. And they'll be perfectly happy. Even though this is difficult enough even for people who aren't handicapped. You know, they hardly get to know each other. There's no chance for close contact. It's a very bad situation. But they are very optimistic about it, and I'm so glad. That is the positive side, don't you see? Yes, their optimism is admirable. Mm. Yes, in my opinion, these girls and boys will make out all right. They'll adjust to certain things. Yes, I think that's true. If you ask me about this old bank here, for instance, I would suppose for their type it's rather easy. Clever, handsome couples like uh, Vicky and her fiancé won't have too much trouble. Noble Banks and his wife. But I know of many other handicapped people who have a much harder time. For example, I know that. So much suffering. Some convulsions are so troublesome. And all those who have difficulty in speaking due to serious injury to the nervous and all kinds of other disabilities. I know some disabled patients who can't move who are completely immobilized. What about those poor souls? Have things been done to help these cases make life just a little bit easier for them? It's very hard, almost impossible. There's such a, a big need for technical aids to help patients who are really bedridden, but I've got to admit our progress has been terrible slow. It doesn't sometimes happen that uh, people who are not handicapped are cactus for those who are and, and make them suffer? I think not, actually. And I believe we're tough and can take it. You've become hardened. Yes, hardened, that's right. Is anything being done to help these people lead a less safe existence? Is there any sort of hospital that's attempted to do something about it anyway? Yes, there is a special institution in Holland. A large group of handicapped people live there in a community. And there, to the utmost possible extent, all human needs, including sexual needs, are taken care of. For example, there is personnel assigned to the job of helping two people who want to have intercourse to get into position for it. There should be more institutions like that. Oh, I agree completely. That is what I call a really big help. Now, Vicky, it's possible for you to get that initial visual contact which is so important. But for you, Ben, it's more difficult. Now, how do you establish contact with someone of the opposite sex? Are you totally blind? 100%. No, actually, out of a rather big group, not many are totally blind. That's what I'd heard. <laughs>